Hi, my name is Sascha Bamberg and I'm writing for Pivot since four years now. Today I want to share my experiences regarding the Pivot Switchblade with you. Because of my small size of 1,70 m, I always had the fear that 29er wheels are too big for me and thus the bike is not playful enough. But before I misjudge something, I like to try it on my own. Although the Switchblade 29 in small size looks almost like a slopestyle bike, it has become my favorite weapon for home trails and home spots. Why? I will explain you now. Since I like to ride a slack head tube angle, I have the extra long 70mm headset shell installed, which also brings the front a bit higher. This makes even the steepest and most roughest descents no longer a problem. Meanwhile, the switchblade comes with a 160mm Fox 36 fork instead of 150mm. So the head tube angle and the height of the front pretty much match my setup. The slightly higher front can be optimally adjusted with the handlebar head, so that you get the perfect balance between the front and the rear. The geometry and the DW link rear have been optimally adapted to the switchblade. The large wheels roll over the most bumps on their own. In combination with the Fox 36 and the perfectly tuned DW link rear, the switchblade on the trail feels more like an enduro with more travel than 135mm. Generally it sticks reliable to the ground and produces a lot of traction, but it can also be easily disconnected from the ground into the air if necessary. Thanks to the short chain stays, the bike remains playful despite the large wheels. Even tight trails with sharp corners are no problem. Some pressure on the front wheel and boom, the switchblade drives around every corner, whether on two wheels or just on the front wheel. At first you will worry or even complain about the super boost axle size, like I also did, because every new standard screams for new components. But thanks to the super boost on the rear end, the spoke spacing increases and thus the stiffness in the rear increased immensely. I always wondered why downhill bikes were wasting so much space between the spokes and the brake disc, and so were wasting a lot of stiffness too. The chainstays have been designed in a curved line, so that the foot clearance is not restricted while pedaling. In the beginning, I rode the switchblade with a simple Fox float, which is strong enough for trails, but if you use the switchblade for big jump lines, the little shock is pretty fast at the end. That's why I've updated to the Fox Float X to keep the bike from floating through the suspension. Meanwhile, the switchblade comes with the Fox DPX2 for always having enough reserves. Although both the Float X as well as the DPX2 have a three position climb switch, you almost never will need it. The well tuned rear reacts perfect on hits from below but stays calm during pedaling. With the 29er wheels, the switchblade accelerates like hell, but if you like to have even more traction, try it with 650B plus wheels.